Hey guys, in this video let's take a look how you can move, scale and rotate the objects. First thing what I wanted to mention is that you have different ways how you can select the object. Here if I click and hold I will get different options. So here I have the tweak, then I have the select box, with the select box I can select the things, it can be pretty handy to use it. Once you select the objects, you can move with the move tool. Right, so this is how I can move it. You can rotate in different axes. Okay, and here is the scale. That's basically it. If you want to use shortcuts, you can select it. G is for move. G, Y, Z, X is basically moving it in the axis. This is can be pretty handy. And the same thing is working with the R. So R as a rotation. X, Z, Y, cool. And the same for the scale. The scale is S again, S, Y, X, Z. One thing what I wanted to mention is that you can select all objects which are visible with a A. Now you can press S and you are scaling. Another important thing is that you are scaling only what is visible. So for example, I will scale the pencil and the character. I disabled it in the viewports and in the renders, right? And I will, for example, show the back. It also in the viewport and in the render. And you can see that it's small. The reason is that you are scaling only the things which are selected and the back wasn't selected so it didn't change. If you want to scale all the things you need to enable in, in viewports then click S and select and scale all of them. So that was it. Thank you. I'm Sam from 3D and let's continue in our journey.